Hello guys, so welcome to Kyo Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this restaurant interior over here. So let's continue it. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, I'll again go over here. Let's go to the top view and I'll go into this and I'll make a rectangle. Convert to editable spline, select the vertices and let's give fillet over here. So I'll just add a bit of fillet to it and just drag it in this way. Again, I'll go into rendering, enabling viewport and let's make it as rectangular. Again, I'll reduce this slightly, increase the size of it. Again, I'll select this whole thing. And I'll make a copy of it. I'll just click OK over here. Now, similarly, we'll do the same over here. So again, I'll select this, this whole thing. Let's select this. Again, shift and drag it. So I'll just keep it over here. And again, I'll save this file once again. Now, what I'll be doing over here, I'll be creating this frames over here. So let's create this frames. So again I'll select this and I'll give a bit of fillet to it so we can add a bit of fillet over here. Let's select this. Again I'll go into this. I'll give a bevel profile modifier. I'll go into classic and I'll click on this to pick a profile over here so I can pick this profile so again I'll delete this and isolate this So let's select the profile over here. So what I'll do is, I'll go into this. So let's select this, drag it down.
again I'll go into this I'll add a bit of fillet to it so select this again I'll give a bevel profile go into classic pick this okay that looks better now I can just scale it in this way now this looks much better so convert to poly the only thing is this is going to be a bit on the heavier side so I'll just drag this out I'll rotate it and shuffle this up over here so we do have something over here to be kept as well so I'll just resize this I'll put it up over here I'll drag it again I'll take a box I'll just resize it I'll just place it up again I'll make a copy of it now we'll be utilizing this frames only and over here as well if you want to go with this I can go with this frame as well over here as well so again I'll go into this again I'll take a box over here I'll just activate the auto grid over here convert to poly So let's select the edges and let's give slide chamfer over here and let's click OK. And if you want, you can add some details. Convert to poly let's select this edge and let's give chamfer over here click ok so let's select the polygons just drag it over here again I'll copy this so let's just duplicate it it's going to make it a bit heavier if you need it you can put this details or else you can just Keep it as it is. All right. 
so this details are barely visible i can resize it and drag it in this way so apart from that again i'll take this over here and i'll make a copy of it so i'll just drag this up push it up so this looks a bit better So again, I'll select this. Okay. Again, on to the top over here. Let me see the details over here. What's there on to the top? So I'll just go over here and I can add a swift loop over here as well. So let's add a swift loop. I'll just push it closer and I'll scale it from the top to make it straighter. here as well on this side so I have kept some space for the frames over here so we can just duplicate this frames over here as well we can resize it we can make it smaller Again duplicate it, again I'll just shuffle it over here, okay. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. Now, uh, okay, we do have something over here for the plant part so we'll be taking a cylinder right over here so convert to poly ffd box select this and resize it Okay, 
and looks better. So convert to poly. And let's again go into this, take a swift loop. And you can slightly extrude it by local normal. Again, you can add some swift loops. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you not subscribed yet. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.